this video, we're going to show you how to get instant A-gap pressure in Madden 24 out of the nickel triple. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the channel. We do tips and tricks on this channel, trying to teach people how to become better Madden players. And today I'm going to show you one of the glitchiest blitzes in Madden. And the reason that it's really good is not just because the blitz itself is really good, which it is, but also because the coverage behind it is actually really good. And there's some things you can do to make it even better, as well as um, it's very simple to set up. It's very, very simple to set up. Now, if you want to get my entire nickel triple defensive ebook, we actually just dropped this for our Patreon members. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member. This is going to make our eighth offensive and defensive ebook that we have dropped for Madden 24 in less than two days of the game being out. Now, one of the big pieces of the Patreon is by being a member, you and we're going to be in cover one LB Blitz out of nickel triple. Um, but by being a member of the Patreon, you get access to any updates that we do as long as you are a member. Okay. So we all of these ebooks are subject to get updated. Uh, as soon as any kind of patches or updates come out that change things. We know that Madden is always changing, but wanted to get you guys as many different ways to play the game out as possible early on. Okay, so all you're going to do with this blitz is basically you're going to take the safety up top that's in a deep blue, and you're going to walk down over the, over the center. And essentially what you want to do is you just want to kind of loop to this side just like this. And what you'll see is if that right there happens – what that is signaling to you from a user perspective, like you saw how you kind of didn't get through, is you need to be a little bit more to the right. So ideally, you kind of want to be like just to the just to the right of the center, just like that. And as you can see, there comes the A-gap pressure right up the middle. The beauty of this blitz is it's literally no adjustments. All you're doing is you're coming down, you're standing just to the right of the center. I hold left trigger. And at the snap of the ball, I'm going to kind of come in. And as you can see, basically, once I see the defensive end is like, um, or the defensive tackle is like all the way through, then I'm going to jump into coverage. Now, I'll show you another setup that you can you can kind of mess around with if you want. You can uh, stand right here, and as you can see, Blitz comes in as well. So there's two different methods uh, to, to, to kind of sending the pressure. They have different consistency levels depending on formation. Again, we teach all this stuff in the ebook on this, but I mean, you see, this is a very clean A gap. It's pretty much happening every single time. Now, I don't uh, want you to be naive. If they block their running back, okay, if they block their running back, you will see here that it does pick it up, but you get these really fast, like, shed animations in this formation. And so I think it's still a really good blitz, even if they block a running back. Now, in the in the actual ebook, we show you how to continue to get gap pressure even if they block a running back. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'll show you something else really cool right here. Uh, so again, if they block a running back, we're going to send uh, an extra rusher, and you'll see that we'll actually be able to get edge pressure. So remember, you're only sending five people at the quarterback, okay? So if I wanted to, let me give you one other little cool thing that I think you could try. You can man this guy up on the left side on the running back, and you'll see sometimes this guy will loop in just like that. Um, you could try that or mess around with that. Again, in the ebook, we explain a little bit more from a coverage perspective, uh, real quick. What I would recommend that you do is simple, honestly, like, I think it's just easy. Just shade over top. Uh, I really like to press, but I don't like to necessarily shade underneath this year by shading over top. It will really help you in defending wheel routes. It will help you defend corner routes. You can shade outside and over top. Cause if you think about it, your user is going to lurk basic basically in the middle of the field with this. And then, I mean, that's great. It's crazy consistent. The beauty of this blitz is, um, I actually think this can be a little, it, in my opinion, this is more consistent than the 3-3 three, three Cub version of this blitz, which we have on a different channel. And we also have an ebook on that in the Patreon that breaks it down in a little bit more detail. But the beauty of this blitz is you're seeing, it is literally almost 100% of the time, of course I say that, we get picked up. It's because of the bumping that happened with the tight end over there on the right side. This blitz is pretty much very, very consistent. Like we're talking like 95% of the time. If they if they uh if they don't block their running back, it's coming right through the A gap every single time. So that's a really big boost uh, uh to the defensive side of the ball when you're able to get pressure like that. Now you might be asking, you know, how does this work against a block tight end? It is similar. They can they can uh just block their tight end and pick this up. 
But the other thing is, again, obviously we have more blitzes in the Patreon that explain how to deal with it when they counter. But as a basic, like, everybody can pick this up and use it and have a lot of success with it, I think this is a really good defense. And you don't have to press if you don't want to. You can literally just run down here with your user. You're going to get the A-gap pressure, and you're also going to have good coverage behind it. There is something to be said a little bit about simplicity, and this defense really provides that a lot. And if you want to learn more about how to run this defense at a really high level, um, the link is going to be down in the description to join the Patreon. For just $10, you'll be able to learn every single thing. You'll literally learn everything that I know about Madden for $10, and you'll get updates every single time anything changes or we find something new immediately by being a Patreon member. The link to sign up for there is down in the description, so head down to the description and uh, go check it out.